Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you an all year round capsule wardrobe and also share with you some of my favorite transitional basics. So what I mean by all year round capsule wardrobe is that these pieces have relevance in my wardrobe for at least three seasons every year. I do live in a pretty mild climate, but for styling, I might take a sweatshirt like this in the summer and then pair it with some really cute accessories like a straw hat and I get an outfit that I feel like is seasonally appropriate but it also uses a lot of the basics I wear all year round. The same thing goes for cooler weather, where I might take a basic I wear all year round and pair it with a more seasonal item, like this really cozy knit. And then I get an outfit that feels seasonally appropriate, but I'm still using a lot of the basics I reach for in my wardrobe year round. And that's the idea of this video, that we always have these styling pieces that we can use that translate from season to season without much change. So let's get started with today's video and I hope you enjoy as always. I talk all the time about how much I love my blazers, but today I actually want to talk about some of the brands that do blazers really well and some of the places that I like to book for good blazers. The first one over here is from The Outnet, which also happens to be my favourite place for blazers online. I love to browse through their collection of blazers, which are usually more high-end luxurious, and sometimes you can find them heavily discounted, and you can also find additional sales if you get lucky on the website from time to time as well. So this one is from Isabel Morant, I've had it in my wardrobe for about a year now, and every time I wear it, it just feels like such a special piece because it fits really well over the shoulders and over the body. The sleeves fit really well and I haven't even tailored this, which I feel like is amazing. And the material is a cotton wool blend that just feels very luxurious. This is one of those pieces that I can see myself having for years and years and years to come. A lot of French brands do blazers like this one, whether it's Isabel Morant, whether it's Sandro, Maj, all of those brands do a lot of blazers with this kind of classic silhouette. It's not too oversized, not too fitted, somewhere in the middle and I feel like it always looks very chic. I was on The Real Real yesterday and I actually saw this particular blazer that was stunning, made from a linen material. So I feel like other than the outnets, The Real Real Vestiaire, also really good places to look for blazers like this one. On this channel, I know a lot of you guys are also Cezanne fans like me. So this is the Cezanne Christie blazer and I feel like it has a similar fit to the last one. What I like about this blazer is that I feel like the brand really stands by this style. From season to season, year to year, they change the fabrics used but not the cut of it itself. And my one is more of a linen blend from the summer but right now I can see that they're doing some heavier wool blends for the autumn winter. I feel like the Christie blazer is a real classic and the only thing I'll pay attention to is that the different colors are made from different fabric. So this one is a linen blend, you have some wool blends, but you also have some synthetic ones which I don't love as much. This pink and blue plaid one I feel like is really chic and this one I believe is made from a wool blend. Another piece that I feel like has a lot of versatility from spring, autumn, all the way to winter is this jacket. I'm actually missing a button for this jacket, unfortunately. So I am going to move the buttons from the pocket to here and then change the pocket buttons into something very, very similar in the same gold. But anyways, I still wanted to share this because I love the crop shape 
I feel like the fit of it is really good. It feels very classic. It's thick enough that it keeps me warm in spring and autumn. And then for winter, the way I like to wear this is inside a coat as a middle layering piece. This jacket is from a Korean brand called Lucast, and I think being a Korean brand, it really suits anyone who is more petite. I don't feel like I have a jacket in my wardrobe that fits as well as this one in terms of the length, in terms of the shape. So because of that, it's a piece that I really love in my wardrobe. If you have a similar frame to me where you are quite petite, a lot of things are too long on the sleeve or the body, then W Concept and also this jacket, I feel like is a good one to look into. One of the pieces in my wardrobe that has truly stood the test of time is this striped knit. This is the Cezanne Leontine knit and no matter how much I wear it, I never get sick of it. Partially because it's really classic, but partially because I just feel like the fit is perfect. It's got a really wide boxy shape, but it's also quite cropped, which I feel like suits my height really well. I like that the sleeves are not too overwhelming or too long, and it's also that thickness where it does work for most of the year. In the summer, I can wear this on a summer evening and because it's this cotton material, I feel like the look of it is not too heavy. If I wear it in the transitional season, it's really perfect. And then in the winter, to be honest, in Australia, I layer a little bit and this also works um, incredibly well. I might put a merino knit on the inside, put a scarf on, a jacket, and that's it. I also have my James stripe knit, which is in a wool material. But with that one, I can only wear it for one season instead of all the seasons. So this one I feel like is a lot more versatile. The cost per wear has definitely come down a lot. And I feel like this one has definitely stood the test of time. For anyone interested in this knit and wants to know about the hand feel, I feel like this knit is not soft and cozy. It's not one of those really fluffy wool knits at all. It's a cotton material that has a lot of structure. So I don't feel like it's ultra soft, to be honest. It's more of a structured style of knit. And that's partially the reason why I like it. Um, the fact that it has that structure and shape to it that just glides over the body in a really flattering way. Another all year round staple for me is a grey sweatshirt. And I feel like in the summer, it can so easily be styled with shorts or a midi skirt or a silk skirt. And then of course, it transitions into really cozy outfits as well. I wanted to give an honorable mention to this Tibby sweatshirt, which is actually still on the outlet. I purchased mine, I think about a year ago, and I've managed to style it up in more dressy ways because of this dramatic sleeve detail. But I also wear it very casually when I'm just lounging around as well. So summer to winter, casual to formal, I feel like this one just never really leaves my wardrobe and it's something that I reach for most of the year. I've shown in previous videos, but the reason why I love a sweatshirt is because sometimes I might have a fancier skirt that I really want to wear or a nicer trouser and the sweatshirt just dresses that down a little bit. So my outfit still feels more effortless and casual rather than very, very polished for wherever I'm going. most worn shirts in my wardrobe that I wear from summer to winter are these Power of My People shirts and I love to talk about them because they are an ethical responsible brand and their shirts are made in Canada. I get along with these shirts really well because everything has a very classic fit. This one is made from a linen material, this one the cotton, but they both fit in a way that's not too oversized where I'm just drowning in material. But they're not too fitted where I feel like it looks a little bit dated or too tight on the body. These are just really the perfect relaxed fit. And on someone petite, they're also not super super long um, where I have to tuck in a ton to wear the shirt. Styling these in the winter might mean that I'm only using it to show the collar or the shirt tail underneath some jumpers and coats 
Whereas styling this in the summer might mean that it's a cover-up or just loosely worn as a jacket. I actually feel that I don't wear shirts all that often, but I'm constantly using them to finish off an outfit, whether that means layering it inside a jumper or putting it on top of a cami top or putting it in between two layers. I'm constantly styling the shirt in different ways and that's why it's always in my wardrobe ready to be worn. I consider an all-year-round classic is a merino knit. Merino wool is very FOMO regulating so when it's slightly cooler it will keep you more warm, when it's slightly warmer it will still keep you fairly cool. And being that it's merino wool it's super comfortable on the skin and the more fitted merino wool knits I especially love because they pair really well with the oversized silhouettes in my wardrobe. I wear a lot of looser trousers, I wear a lot of blazers, and for both of these things, I like to have that more fitted base layer on the inside. And that's why I really like this type of fitted knit um, in a merino wool that's really comfortable. These merino knits definitely come at a lot of different price points. And I feel like one of the better affordable ones is the Uniqlo Extra Fine Merino Knit. I have one of those in my wardrobe that I've had for years and it's just forever going to be a good classic in a wardrobe. This one is a little bit more detailed. This one feels a little bit more special with the knitting and the little kind of buttons and ruffles. This one is from Cezanne and because it's made from 100% merino wool, it's very soft on the skin. And this is one that I definitely feel comfortable recommending in Cezanne's knitwear line. I would never imagine wearing this in the middle of an Australian summer, that would be crazy. But I would wear it in spring and autumn and then for winter, it will be my base layer to layer with and I'll put a chunky knit over the top. So with the neckline, you can also see it inside some knits, which I think is a nice touch. And it's just one of those pieces that I feel like will never go far in my wardrobe because I will reach for it most of the time and often. I changed into this knit, and this is the perfect example of a seasonal piece. This is the kind of piece that will come in and out of my wardrobe depending on the time of year. Whereas these pieces, obviously I style all year round. So this one, I'm just about to tuck away and I thought I'll wear one last time. We're obviously heading into spring summer here in Australia, um, as opposed to autumn, winter. A good trouser is definitely a key piece in my wardrobe. These are three trousers from my wardrobe and I would say most of my trousers do work all year round. Maybe in the summer, I'm not gonna wear a wool trouser, but other than that, year round. trousers that I'm super excited to share with you are these Arquette ones. I've had a lot of very good luck with Arquette trousers. I feel like the quality of them is really great. This one I believe is made from 100% wool and the quality I think is just very different to even an end of a stories trouser. It definitely feels a bit nicer. The color of this trouser is very reminiscent of some of the colors of trousers my partner has. It's in a brown taupe shade, whereas in my wardrobe, I don't own a lot of this color at all. So I feel like it'll be fun to pair this with a lot of the neutrals I already have and just get a slightly different color combination. I do have to get these trousers shortened like with almost all pants that I own. It's very rare for me to not shorten a pant. So I have to get it shortened, but other than that, I'm super excited to wear these and I feel like the quality of these are just very, very nice. I've been styling a lot of very oversized pants and I feel like this one still has a very classic fit. It's not too oversized or trendy and I feel like it does have a more timeless feel compared to a lot of silhouettes out there. wardrobe is this black one from Philippa K and it's a wool blend trouser. In the time that I've had it, which I feel like is about a year or two, I feel like it's just very very classic. It never feels like it'll go out of style. I like the press crease at the front. My favorite thing about these trousers is that I feel like they look like they fit really well. Um, it just has a very polished classic look that I just love but it's also one of those pieces that I feel like does get 
hidden away a little bit. I pair it a lot when I'm wearing coats. I wear it to match with different knits when I want something simple. And it might not stand out as much as some of my other clothing, but it's something that I do frequently turn back to because of the very classic fit. In the warmer weather, I'll just wear it with something like a simple tee or blouse. And in winter, I wear it the most with different types of knitwear and underneath coats for a really classic trouser proportion. This is also the perfect pant to wear for different types of boots. With some of my longer pants, I don't feel like it shows off the boot as much. Whereas if I'm wearing a boot, this is the most flattering pant. So you can see the boot, it feels really elongating and the proportions just feel very classic. share and another year round classic are these Lulu trousers from Cezanne. The reason this is another year round classic is because it's made from this beautiful linen viscose blend which means that in the summer it's perfect and then come autumn this light yellow color works really well with the earthy tones that I usually associate with autumn. Come spring this works really nicely with bright colors so for at least three seasons of the year I can style this pant really easily. The reason why I especially like the Lulu is because it's wide-legged without being overly dramatic. I still find it to be a very wearable style for the everyday. I like that it comes in a range of colors and I'm especially right now drawn to the brown one which I may be ordering and the brown I feel like would be a lovely colour and a little bit more versatile than this light cream. A good pair of jeans is an all year round classic and when I look at my little denim wardrobe, I feel like the one that stands out to me the most are definitely the Levi ribcage ankle. I like that it has a very high rise, so it just feels really flattering along the waistline. I like that through the leg, it's not ultra wide. It is a straight leg that still feels very wearable, no matter what kind of top you have on. You can wear something oversized, something fitted, and whatever shape you're wearing, it'll work with these jeans. In terms of comfort, I feel like these are pretty comfortable. Between the washes, you get different levels of elastane. My black ribcage jeans are the most comfortable because they've got a bit of stretch to it. Whereas this one is slightly more rigid but still fairly comfortable for the everyday. It's actually one of the few denim styles I own. I have a few barrel jeans that I love but beyond that, it's this jean all the time. slowly accumulating in my wardrobe are these very lightweight slip skirts. I really love these because they have such a beautiful fitted silhouette that I feel like will suit a lot of different body types. For me, if it's a bias cut, I love that it gives my body a little bit more shape. And then if it's just a flowy version, I love how soft and drapey it is. But either way, I think it just gives the body a really nice shape. If you're wearing something like a sweatshirt that is a slightly heavier material, these really light pieces just work so well with the sweatshirt. And the same goes for the striped knit, the blazers, anything kind of heavy on top. I think just look beautiful with these silk skirts. I love to wear these obviously in the summer because they're so cool and comfortable. But as we get into transitional season, I love that the chunkier textures can mix with the lighter silk. And this is where if you have higher boots, I imagine you can wear the boots as well. And you're still a little bit warmer but you get the beautiful textures in the outfit. If you live somewhere like Sydney or if you live somewhere like LA, I feel like weather-wise, these go well into autumn and into spring. So that's why they are an all year round classic in my wardrobe. The navy one here is the one that I wear the most and this one is from the Australian brand Lee Matthews. But you can droop this with any kind of navy silk skirt that is cut on the bias. If something is cut on the bias, it will usually hug the body a little bit better as well. So it's one of the reasons why I find this skirt to be so, so flattering. I took a look online this morning and I also found a few on the outnet. They were discounted at the time of looking at them and I feel like it will be a very similar option to this skirt that I own. The final thing I wanted to share today are some shoes. Up until recently, I realized that all of my shoes are very seasonal. I have quite a few pairs of boots, 
I have a lot of sandals and I have nothing in between. So it just meant that if I'm not wearing a boot, I'm wearing a sandal and vice versa. There was definitely a gap in the middle where beyond the sneaker that was like a closed seasonless shoe, all of my shoes were very, very seasonal. Even this shoe, which I added to my wardrobe recently from Cezanne, it is a closed toe shoe with an open back. So it leans a little bit more towards warm weather, but I could wear it for three seasons um, with different outfits. And it's been a nice addition and nice change to the boots and the sandals that I always wear. Usually I would say I'm not a huge shoe person. I have a couple of pairs of shoes, I wear them all the time, but lately I've been wanting to experiment a bit more. I know that shoes can make such a difference to an outfit, and I've been trying to experiment with some new styles and trying to match that to different pieces in my wardrobe. But more importantly, finding those seasonless options that can see me through more of the year than a boots or a sandal. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on what I consider a seasonless piece in my wardrobe and what I consider to be staples uh, through multiple seasons. I hope the recommendations and quick reviews were helpful and if there's anything else you'd like to know that I haven't covered, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon, bye!